everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to do a trailer review for Bad Santa 2. Now, I have to do this trailer review because, honestly, if you guys have seen my movie review that I did with Justin Watches Movies a couple of years ago, I have reviewed the, the first Bad Santa movie with him. And Bad Santa is honestly one of my favorite uh, comedies of all time. It's one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. That is a movie that just makes me laugh my ass off so hard. It's one of those movies where every time I watch it, I just laugh harder and harder and harder. And Billy Bob Thornton, he freaking nails it as Bad Santa. I can't see anyone that could play a bad Santa like Billy Bob Thornton. You know, with Bad Santa 2, this is a movie I'll say after watching the Red Band trailer. This is a Red Band trailer review, by the way, where I am both interested and I'm both honestly scared for Bad Santa 2 because honestly, just like with a lot of comedy sequels, this could go either way. This could either be a really funny comedy sequel, which I really hope Bad Santa is, or it could not be a good comedy sequel. But with this trailer, yes, there are plenty of funny bits that happen. Of course, like you see Billy Bob Thornton and Tony Cox, they reunite together, and I think that's very cool. And you know, you do get the kid back who is now older, obviously. He's 21, according to what he said in this trailer. And obviously, nothing's changed. The kid that we saw in the original, he's still the same. Uh, you know, kid uh, right now. So nothing's obviously changed there. There are a good amount of moments in this trailer that definitely did work in my opinion, but then there's also humor where I'm all like, yeah, that feels too forced or they try too hard just to be raunchy. And that's something that I will say does have me worried for Bad Santa 2 is the fact that this sequel is going to focus more on having the visual raunchy stuff rather than having raunchy dialogue that happened in the first. Because the reason I love the first Bad Santa is because, yes, although it's rated R, yes, it's pretty freaking outrageous. Most of the raunchy stuff in that film comes from what comes out of Billy Bob Thornton's mouth or Tony Cox's mouth. Even here and there, Bernie Mac, which, you know, rest in peace to Bernie Mac, he obviously won't be in the sequel. But, you know, it came from what the character said that made the film raunchy, that added that factor, that made it very funny, in my opinion. I feel like this film's gonna try too hard to just push the boundaries because you do see more of the visual raunchy stuff and that's where, yeah, I am worried about this film. But I am also interested in this film because a good amount of moments do look funny. Like the banter between Billy Bob Thornton and Tony Cox. Nothing's changed there. I feel like their banter is still going to be just as entertaining as it was in the first film. And I'm sure the interaction between Billy Bob and the kid will be really good. Although I do hope that Bad Santa 2 does have the heart because that's one of the things that makes Bad Santa a special film too. Yes, it's an R-rated film, but it's an R-rated film that has heart. And I hope Bad Santa 2 does have that heartwarming stuff. Although, if the heart isn't in Bad Santa 2, then I won't be surprised. But I just hope, just like with the first film, we will get some heart in this film. One thing I will say about Bad Santa 2 that also has me really iffy on it is honestly the cinematography. Wow, does this film look so much different from the first film as far as cinematography goes. Adam Haskell actually told me that this film was shot as if it was a straight to DVD movie. And I honestly have to agree with Adam there. And when your theatrical film looks like a straight to DVD movie, yeah, that's not good. So that's definitely something I have to say I wasn't too big of a fan of is Bad Santa's 2 cinematography. And I hope once I do see the movie that the cinematography can definitely just be much more improved from there. You know, I think that's all I have to say regarding Bad Santa 2. Honestly, you guys, I'm both interested in it and I'm both worried about it. So, yeah, I'm going to go into this film very cautiously. Um, this is not a film you're going to see me mention in my top five anticipated movies for fall winter 2016, which I do plan to film with my guests on August 19th. Don't know when the actual video will be up, but just the filming date will be August 19th. I'll see you guys one more thing. I actually have an audience here with me. Say hi, you guys. 
All right, so um, Kaden, your quick thoughts on Bat Santa 2? Um, I have not seen the first one, so I have not seen this trailer, so uh, yeah. Uh, Adam, your quick thoughts on the Bat Santa 2 trailer? <laughs> Adam, your mic is mute. <laughs> 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 That's the best part. <laughs> I love I love that I love the first Bad Santa. I think it's a great comedy. As for the sequel, um, I think it looks funny. It definitely looks funny, but I'm still I still have my worries, my big worries, like this, like cinematography and stuff doesn't look that great, and you know how some comedy sequels can go. So I'm still worried, but we'll see what happens. If it's disappointing, that's just gonna be depressing, honestly. <clears throat> And then you, Kevin, your thoughts on Bad Santa 2? I don't give a fuck. Uh, okay, then. Uh, but anyways, yes, you guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think of Bad Santa from 2003. And are you looking forward to a sequel personally? Or is it just one of those moments where it looks like one of those unnecessary sequels? Let me know whatever opinion you have in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. You're all very awesome. And this is Twenty Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have ho, 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 tiger power.